Hi, my name is Bjergsen from Team Solo Mid. This is my basic champion's guide to Zareth. I think Zareth is pretty good in solo queue just because his weaknesses get covered up easily. He's very immobile, he's easy to flank, and a well-coordinated team can burst him down. But in solo queue, people often aren't coordinated and aren't very good at grouping, so Zareth just gets to poke people down all day, giving easy kills, easy objectives. That's what makes him really good. Um, other than that, avoid taking Zareth into champions that dive onto you a lot, like Jarva and Irelia, Fizz, these kinds of champions. If you see multiple of those, it's probably not a good game to play Zareth. Xerath laning is very linear. It just really depends on how many skill shots you can land. If you land a bunch of Qs, you're going to stomp your lane. If you miss a bunch of Qs, you're going to get pushed in and dominated. There's only really two choices you can make. Are you going to Q him or are you going to Q the wave? It means, are you going to look for the push and back? push a room or are you just going to look to harass and win lane or control the wave? Oftentimes I look to the opponent and the more you hit, the better of a chance you have at winning lane. When you're ahead, the best way to snowball your advantage, continuing to push down your lane or looking to use your ult in the side lane. Xerath isn't as good to roam uh, other than just his ultimate, but he's very good at continuously abusing your lane because he has such long range. For Xerath's team fighting, you really have two choices. Do you want to try to kill or poke the back line or do you just want to brace down one target that's close to you? If it's a squishy or bruiser, you can just stun them, put your whole combo down on the front line and kill them. Otherwise, you want to look to just shoot the back line slowly with Qs, with ultis, because if you hit all your three ultis, uh, the AD carry or mid is likely going to be really low and not be able to do any more in the fight. Whereas you can keep throwing out your low cooldown Qs. So uh, the more Xerath you play, the more you really know. And you can complement other diving champions on your team, uh, killing the enemy carries using your ult. A very simple tip for using your ultimate is getting blue trinket as soon as you hit level 9. Oftentimes people are going to be running out of vision and using the blue trinket just before you use your ultimate uh, can give you that vision necessary to land your ultis. Also sometimes he's going to want to try to kill the ward, which means he's going to be standing still for a second and that can land you a free ultimate. For runes on Xerath, I run Magic Pen Reds, HP Scaling Yellows, CDR Scaling Blues, and AP Quints. It's a really standard AP page, and the CDR is very important for a poke champion like Xerath. You can throw out as possible. For Xerath's Masteries, I run 12, 18, 0. Um, I prefer Feast because it gives Xerath extra sustain in lane, and he does have some sort of rough matchups. Important to stay on high health. Oppressor is good because you have uh, a slow and a stun yourself, and you can get Rylice later in the game to complement it as well. Of course, get Thunderlords because it just adds to your damage throughout the game, and you oftentimes land three spells by either poking or using your ult. For Xerath's skill order, at uh, level 1, I always go Q. It gives you a nice little poke at level 1 sometimes before they even realize it. At level 2, go W, level 3, go E, and then max Q, W, E. The maxing is just really straightforward because you want as much damage as possible with Xerath, and these are your poking and damage abilities. For Xerath's items, you always want to start Doran, so it's the best option as your first item. After that, you want to go into the Frost Claim as soon as possible. It just gives Xerath everything you need, a ton of gold, because you ha have so long range. You always hit the spells and proc the passive on it. Um, the active helps slowing down people to land your ulti or land any kind of skill shots, since Xerath is a full skill shot champion. CDR mana region, this gives Xerath everything he wants. After that, you can go a bunch of different items. You can go Zhonyas if you need the active. You can go Deathcap if you want the straight AP. Voice Sav if you need Magic Pen. Or if they have a lot of immobile champions, you can go... Rylice to slow keep hitting your spells. It just really depends on the game and in test out. Thank you for watching this basic champion's guide. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lolfast.com.